This is calculator question 13 from practice test 6, which is also the October 2016 SAT. College Board gives us a table of values and a graph for sunflower height versus time and days, and says h of t equals a t plus b, where a means our constants models the height in centimeters of the sunflower after t days during a time period where the growth is approximately linear, and they're asking what a represents. In h of t equals a t plus b, a is the slope. The slope is the amount that y increases when t goes up by 1. So choice A is the predicted number of centimeters that the sunflower grows each day during the period. Each day is t going up by 1, and number of centimeters the sunflower grows is the amount that h of t, the height of the sunflower, increases. So choice A would be correct. Choice B, predicted height of the sunflower at the beginning of the period, in h of t equals a t plus b, b would be the y-intercept, the predicted height at time zero, but that's not necessarily the beginning of the time period. Predicted height in centimeters at the end of the time period would be h of t for t equals the ending time, and predicted total increase in the height during the period would be your slope times the number of days in that time period. So b, c, and d are not correct. Choice a describes the slope where lowercase a is the slope in h of t equals at plus b, so a is the correct answer. College Board often asks you to interpret the meaning of the slope or intercept of a linear equation in context, and this is one of many examples of that kind of problem. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.